Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching. Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with another one. What I'm looking at is a beer from Treehouse Brewing Company. This is Old Hat. It is an American amber lager brewed with a complex assortment of malts to impart a rich base and hopped gently with Cascade. Following primary fermentation with our American lager yeast, we allow Old Hat to condition for almost eight weeks in horizontal stainless to brilliant clarity. Sounds nice, 5.4% alcohol, if I haven't already mentioned that. Let's go ahead and pour it up. It's a good looking beer. Definitely amber in color. You can see the amber hues as I hold it up to the light there. Very clear that as well. You can see right through it. No sediment or anything like that floating around. Three finger. Kind of a tan between it's kind of more khaki up top. It's almost like a layered head. I don't know if it's showing up on camera or not, but uh, it's a good looking head. Great looking clarity and, and color of the beer itself. Looks like a wonderful American Amber. And it's not an Amber Ale. If I, I may have misspoke and said Amber Ale. Uh, but it's an American Amber Lager using that house lager treehouse yeast. It smells really nice. Caramel malt. It's definitely bready. Really bready. Yeah, caramel, brown bread. Nice earthiness from the hops. Maybe a little grassiness as well. There's like a crackery type of aroma as well. Like crackery malt character. It smells really good. It actually smells similar to a beer I had earlier, um, but without the oak. I had this earlier and I reviewed it, the Old Man Nitro, which is an ESB. This has a lot of those similar aromas, but a little bit more um, robust with the caramel malt and the brown bready notes. And obviously none of the barrel, the oak notes from the wood from this one because this is a oak conditioned beer this one is not but esbs a lot of times amber lagers it, they have a lot of similarities some of these styles um, with the toasted malt character that caramel uh, aroma and flavor is very prevalent in these styles it smells absolutely delightful you can see there's some nice head retention and glass lacing starting to form uh, I am salivating, so without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers, guys. Mm. A lot different flavor-wise than the other beer, the Old Man beer. Um, so you do get that caramel malt, that brown breadiness in the middle, and there's a crackery, almost biscuit-like malt character that comes through in the middle of the sip, which is really nice. And is very popular with a lot of English type beers. That crackery, biscuity, bready malt character. Definitely getting that with this. It's all, all of the above. Very malty. Caramel sweetness. But it's not cloying at all. It's very nicely balanced. There's a Kind of a grassy and earthy hop notes are in there. 
and it drops off on the finish. Uh, it's got a nice hop bite, a moderate bitterness, kind of rounds out the whole beer, and it drops off quickly. It's drying, and it's only 5.4%, so with that drying finish, uh, you want to go right back in for another sip. It is light body, despite the appearance of this beer being a little bit darker. It is not thick at all. It is very light bodied, easy drinking. It just has a ton of flavor from that the toasted malt. Um, nice bready malt, crackery, biscuity. Um, it's just it's really nice. If you've had amber lagers before. Uh, you know, the, the biscuity crackery malt character is not always a big thing with the American Amber Lagers, uh, but it's coming through a lot with this one. It reminds me more of like an English ale um, in a lot of ways. It's really enjoyable. It's straightforward and to the point. It's just... It's not super complex, but the flavor notes are really hitting the right spots. Um, the crackery, biscuity, malt presentation is outstanding. Medium carbonation, ultra refreshing. I'm going to go with a 97 out of 100. It's an outstanding beer. Solid A, getting up there towards world class for the style. Um, love everything about this beer. I love the label design. Um... I believe this one is pretty much a year-round offering. I always see this one on their menu available for, for can pickup. Um, and it's, you know, it's it's conditioned or, um, yeah, almost eight weeks. So it, it's really, it's really nice. You could tell they took their time with this. Just an outstanding beer, so... 97 out of 100 for an old hat American lager from Treehouse Brewing Company. Buy it, try it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Until next time, everybody. Cheers.